is Earth Defense Force 2025. Um, PS3 and 360, obviously, this is the 360 version. Right. Uh, so, what we're going to do here is we're going to pop right into one of the missions. <laughs> so we're showing off the first five levels here at PAX um, and showing off all four classes, which is uh, kind of the first. Uh, this is also the first time we're showing off the English version of the game. So before we're showing off the uh, you know, Japanese, now we've got all the English voice acting in. And it's just as neat to be as the original 2017 <laughs> fighting giant bugs. It's kind of a B movie premise. So, you know, voice acting all kind of matches up with that. So, the general idea, as I said, giant ant insects. The Ravagers uh, came from space in 2017 and tried to uh, take over the world. Uh, the EDS stopped them, and it's been eight years. The uh, Ravagers seemingly disappeared, and all of a sudden they uh, started digging up from the surface. So, we're out to stop them again. Uh, this version of the game has four different character classes that you can play as. So right here we got the Ranger and we have a uh, Wing Diver. All four classes play completely differently than one another. Obviously the Ranger has, you know, pretty good ground mobility, a uh, large variety of weapons, uh, and is pretty much kind of your middle of soldiers. Uh, Wing Diver, you've got a jet pack, and you have energy weapons. You are constantly have to watch out for your enemies and, and uh, you know, what you're, what you're doing from a tactical point of view. Also, the light the armor. There's also the uh, uh, Air Raider, who is kind of a uh, helper character support class. There's uh, target tracking, target lock ons for uh, missile launchers to fire better. Uh, you can call it vehicles and drone strikes and things. So he's kind of like an indirect combat. Okay. But he's still got a couple of, you know, hand to hand weapons, too. He's not as effective, but he has his purpose anyway. Exactly. Uh, and then there's the Lancer, who is the heavy support. He can carry two weapons at once and switch out to a different weapon set in the middle of battle to carry up to four weapons. The heat moves a little bit slower, but he's heavily armored and has a lot of different firepower. Uh, each of the characters has their own selection of weapons, and there's hundreds of weapons for each of the characters. And those are all as time goes on? Yep. So as you go through each of the modes, there's five symbols in those. Uh, and get different weapon drops, you'll start to, you know, get more and more weapons and unlock those. So, the environment is also destructible, so if you start firing missiles at buildings... Yeah, I was going to say, I saw a building fall down earlier. <laughs> Environments are also destructible from their whatever point you hit it at. Oh, so, wow. So, you know, you're saving the earth, but it doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean that property damage can't be a little bit up there. The building might not be there anymore, yeah. but you know. No. But the people are okay. So, that's, that's, when, that's what insurance is for. Right. You have flying enemies, you fight robots as well. Uh, there's a type of robot called a Hector, which is kind of like a walking uh, giant mech that has a little bit of a And then there's a bunch of other new stuff that uh, is in 2025, which they're not showing off today, but a bunch of new enemy types as well. But uh, uh, the enemy types that you see here are also upgraded and improved on the uh, enemy that you face in 2017. So the giant ants before kind of ran up and either kind of ripped at you or spat out the assassin. Now they can also grab you in their mandible and take you around. <laughs> uh, the giant spiders can actually now web you and pull you in uh, and deal damage to you while they're doing that. Where before their webs were pretty really powerful, but that's kind of what they did you know, earlier. Well, it's a good thing you make them a little tougher, though. It's a, it's a valid response to an attack, though. I mean, if your tactics aren't working anymore, develop new ones. Exactly. Uh, so, as you see here, we're obviously split screen. Uh, offline is two player split screen. Uh, online, you have a four player. Cool. And then there's also the uh, offline merchant mode split screen as well.
But I don't want to knock down the building with a machine gun. <laughs> So all the pickups that you get during the mission, obviously you get, you know, afterwards you get to see what you've got, new weapons, uh, armor actually improves your life, so the next mission you'll have actually improved armor, so now you got to go to 9, so it's kind of good. Uh, and then each of the characters has their own armor, so Wingdiver's more like the armor, it starts lower, and you have to get, uh, get her armor up separately from right. the Razor or the Gear Ranger. So when kind of going off of the B movie era, what what's dry? <laughs> like part of me wants to. What's the inspiration of the ants? <laughs> It's gone that way a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So originally it was supposed to be far more yeah. like kind of horror, but you realize it's actually better as a camp. <laughs> Let's do it. The 3DS game. And you were talking about a bunch of different weapons and stuff. Like how? How? I mean, obviously you're you're just getting those as you go on the missions and stuff like that. What? What kind of big variety is like swinging between types do we have? Uh, so oh, we have uh, assault rifles, you have shotguns, you have grenade launchers, missile launchers, rocket launchers, that's for the Rangers. Uh, and uh, sniper rifles as well. Uh, and it's a couple of different types within that. So you have missile launchers that fire and then split them on the forehead. Or you have missile launchers that fire up into the air and then have, uh, you know, arrows. arrows uh, so even within just the given weapon types, there's a hundred different varieties there. Uh, uh, assault rifles that have projectiles that bounce off the walls, or that uh, the projectiles do more damage as they uh, have more further away. So you have actually, you know, you want to kind of slice with your assault rifle to change the gameplay a little bit. And okay. then each of the other character classes have a completely different uh, loadout. Right. Like a fencer has a bunch of different shields that you can use to block incoming damage, and you can also use them as like shield fast attacks. Uh, and he's also got uh, melee weapons as well. So he has uh, the energy spear that you can attack with short range weapons and things, um, and then you know different other types of short range weapons as well. The wing diver, as I said, is energy based, and he's got a lot more uh, lasers that have multiple different teams and things. So characters is quite a bit different from one another in their uh, loadout and what they have built. So in a way it's kind of like that comedic premise went a little bit further on that end. I mean when you have rockets bouncing off of our walls. <laughs> yeah, realism yeah, is going to be cool. <laughs> it's more about what's fun. Well that's what matters, isn't it? You tell me where you want. There you go. So, we're doing pretty well and haven't really taken too much damage, but if you do get knocked out, you can go and revive one of the other uh, players in the game. Basically, it takes half their life to get into them. So, as long as you have a third of your life bar, you can do that. So, you have to have some life to start playing with. Understood! Okay, so with the regular show, kind of where are we fitting this in the nutshell of everything with the, the cartoon and how's that going in?
I believe I did. <laughs> it's kind of interesting too that everything goes to the unlimited da or the unlimited uh, ammo amount. Uh, so one of the other new minor features is that uh, in 2017 you had to run your am or gun out of ammo in order to reload, and now we actually have a manual reload with the Xbox. So it's a small feature, but. It's for an arcade playstyle, that works out. Yeah. Like I said before, there's five different difficulty levels. We're on normal right now, and if we were to go over to hard for this, we'd probably get ourselves killed. <laughs> so the difficulty levels are exactly what they say. They are difficult and they are usually different levels. They scale rather than suggest. Yes. <laughs> um, so what that also means too is that Inferno mode, uh, which has been like the hard difficulty of the game, is really insanely hard. You have to know exactly what you're doing at all the levels and you have to have the best gear that you can possibly get. So that you can really get anything with it. Not the space of hard. Yeah, All right, pretty cool. Welcome to the plane.